Welcome back to No Gears No Glory. Today we're going to be working on our 2016 Ford Explorer. We have an issue with the uh, windshield wiper hood cowl. When we drive, it basically creates this uh, vibrational noise that's pretty loud inside the uh, the uh, interior cabin. And uh, so what's happening is is that the, it's come loose, it's worn away, and so air gets under there and just flaps and, and creates a lot of noise. We did a little bit of testing already to make sure that this is the issue that we're facing. Put a little bit of tape across the hood cowl when driving. Alas, the sound went away. So we know that we need to replace that hood cowl. So uh, let's step outside and I'll show you exactly what we're talking about. Come on. Now, as you can see here, a lot of this is starting to wear away. That's cracked and dried. Here's some of the painter's tape I used to hold that down and it's kind of cracking as well. Here on the passenger side, you're getting the same thing. It's cracking and just, you know, it's kind of far away. I almost get the tip of my finger in there. So we're gonna be pulling this off. Uh, in order to do this, you have to remove the windshield wipers which is supposedly pretty easy. And then uh, there's a couple of clips inside, which we'll show you right now. Now we're under the hood and there's terrible lighting conditions. I apologize for the, uh, the glare and you may not be able to see as well. But there's six clips that sit in here across the cowl that we'll have to remove. Have to remove the windshield wipers. We should be able to pull this off and have full access to uh, replace it. All right, so here we go. Let's start with the windshield wipers. Now we should be able to pull, yep, we are, the caps off the windshield wipers and we'll see what size this is. I think it's a 15 millimeter, but not 100% sure. All right, here we have the driver's side windshield wiper. This is a 15 millimeter. So we're just gonna loosen that up and get that off of here. It's interesting, it's a captured nut with a washer built onto it. Interesting. We'll get the other side. Now in order to remove the windshield wipers, you have to pull it up, which we're probably going to have to put the hood back down again, but needs a little assistance from a, a pry tool because they're kind of pressed on, but not really. Uh, or you can uh, pry it loose this way. We're going to get it both tries. Need more than a plastic pry tool. After playing with this for a minute, I kind of figured out what to do. I'd seen a video where somebody kind of rocked it back and forth. That didn't seem to be working. I uh, got a little bit more aggressive and it worked. So just a kind of a prime back and forth and it comes up. This one's a lot more awkward because of the placement, I'm literally in the center of the hood. So that other angle wasn't working for me. I thought I'd give this a try. This is being a lot more stubborn. There we go. Just rocking it back and forth. Just gotta keep working it. So now we're going to remove the six clips that go across the cowl. We'll start with this one here. Full set screwdriver head on it. So full transparency, I have not tried pulling this off yet, so I actually don't know what it takes. But part of what I want to do here is show you guys that you can do it yourself and figure it out along the way. Now I did watch a video earlier on how to remove the windshield wipers because I didn't want to damage those. Uh, I feel like that's a pretty expensive part that you could really mess up. So I did do a little research ahead on that, but this I have not. So here we go. There it 
there are some tabs along the cowl here that clip in to the uh, uh, whatever the piece is under here. So you want to be careful with that and uh, look underneath one by one. They have little push tabs that you can just push in and pull right out. So just a post removal analysis of the part, just so we kind of know what we're doing when we put the new one on, is the clips I was talking about are actually a couple of clips along the back of the cowl that clip into the um, uh, piece of steel that runs along the base of the windshield. And uh, basically they're these just kind of plasticky, rubbery clips. And if you push on them one by one, just right here, as you pull up, it pulls out of that slot. You got these kind of posts that hold it in place, but there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six clips that you push in. Uh, same number of clips that uh, we removed at the at the head of the cowl in the front with the uh, push clips. Overall, not that hard. The hardest part so far is definitely removing the windshield wipers uh, because they're they're kind of pressed on there. They're pretty firm and. You want those firms so they don't slide around while, while you're using them. Alright, let's go ahead and pull out our new part. And here it is. All beautiful dark black and brand new. Oh, solid clips. Wow. New foam strip that runs across here to uh, make it a nice snug fit against the windshield. Now I need to replace a couple of these clips from the cowl. So I bought a while back a couple of uh, boxes of these replacement clips. I'm gonna see if we have something that might be able to replace those uh, at least closely. And what I'm doing is I'm comparing the size of the overall you know dimensions of this, and I want something as you know similarly in length to it as well. That may work. Looks like we're gonna go with this one. It's a push to lock so um, it's probably a one-time use situation but that's okay uh, the car is at this point six years old I think uh, if we have to do this in six more years I can buy some new clips so you basically want to get it into place and kind of massage it into a point where you're ready to put all the clips in all at once and on the sides right and left you can see I'm tucking in the rubber piece uh, weather stripping to uh, seal it in Once you have it into place, start pressing the clips in. Giving it a good tug to make sure it doesn't pull away that all the clips are in. I'm going to use the newest clips in the corners because those will probably get us the tightest fit. Now we put the windshield wipers back on. I recommend flattening out your windshield wiper, kind of getting into place where you need it. And then if you open it up, it allows it to kind of sit into the grooves that exist in the post. Now I had to take this one back off because it wasn't aligned right. And I want to make sure it looks right. It would wipe the windshield just fine, but I didn't like where it sat. So I want it to sit across this black line right here, similar to this. So, job complete with that. Uh, I think it went pretty well. Um, really navigated through most of that just by a little bit of guesswork. So if I can do it, you guys can do it. It's not that hard. It took me about an hour and a half uh, to, to two hours with a little bit of tinkering and getting away from it a little bit. So probably really an hour. 
if you really stick to it and, and are um, intended on completing it as quickly as possible. If you guys know what you're doing and you see things that I could have done better, put some notes down in the comments so that we can see uh, how to do this job a little bit quicker, a little bit easier for those who may be uh, attempting this in the future. I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like what you see here, hit that like button and maybe even think about subscribing for some additional content. I hope to have some more coming for you soon. Thanks for joining me. I'm Jeremy with No Gears, No Glory. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.